Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is just going to be um, an open box review or a kit review of the uh, 1967 uh, Corvette uh, Coupe. Uh, it's put out by Revell. It's 125th scale. Uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, parts, the instructions, the decals of course, and um, all the stuff in it. Uh, I actually built the uh, convertible version of this uh, a few years ago and then here a uh, I guess uh, six, seven, eight months ago, uh, Revell came out with the uh, coupe version, uh, reissued it. So uh, we're going to take a look at it, see what all is in the box. So um, with that, let's get building. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so back here, we're like I said, we're going to do a uh, kit review of the uh, 1967 Corvette uh, by Revell, 125th scale. Uh, like I said, this one is um, no optional parts on this one. It's uh, strictly a uh, standard car, as it, or factory stock, as I guess you would say, come from a factory. Uh, I noticed going through it um, previously, looking at it before I um, started doing this, um, they actually have the uh, pipes... Um, I guess that would have been in the convertible version for the uh, side pipes. And um, I actually, I'm going to change the car over to a side pipe car. Um, I'll show you a couple revisions I got to make. Uh, I was looking at um, when we get to it here in a minute. But uh, I'd rather have the side pipes on it, uh, especially as being a big block. Like I said, this one is the uh, 427 version. So uh, I think it just needs to have the uh, side pipes on it. So and and also I'm going to be putting uh, red line tires on it. It comes with uh, stickers or decals uh, to do the uh, red lines. But I actually have picked up a set of red line tires that I'm going to um, put on this car. So hopefully they'll work. I haven't tried any of it yet, obviously, but um, I'm hoping so. So I won't have to use the decals. So anyway, with that, let's take a quick look at everything. Uh, the instruction sheet, pretty much um, just forward instruction sheet like Revell has. You know, all the information about the car and all on the front. Uh, of course, all the warnings and all that that we're all used to. Uh, collar call outs. Uh, then all the symbols for uh, all through the instruction tell you what to do. We're all familiar with that. Uh, then we have the parts list. Uh, Revell is pretty good about the uh, part number and then what the actual part is. And uh, like I said, that's on the next page. Um, I've actually already started going through the instruction sheet, uh, making some of my marks that I do on this sheet. Um, I was doing that last night. So if you see uh, marker marks on here, that's what that is. Blue is just uh, a call out to me to watch for decal placement and which... Um, numbers have decals and so forth and if you see any red marks that's actually where there's two parts that look the same and um, one of them is one number on one side and one number on the other side like on the valve cover so I usually put a, like a little mark on the inside of a part so when I do cut them loose I'll know which uh, side they go on or so forth but anyway pretty much like a reveal kit starts out with the engine assembly um, up here we got the fan belts, the fan, um, the uh, alternator, putting the engine blocks together, the two halves together. Then, of course, come down putting the heads, the valve covers, oil pan, oil filter, water pump. Uh, come down, finish up uh, on the engine with the uh, starter, the f uh, fuel filter. And then put the uh, carburetor, air cleaner, um, exhaust uh, um, sides and all. Um, then we'll come over here and then we're going to start on the uh, rear suspension uh, uh, of course and we got uh, see two parts on that. Uh, that and then come down here we start adding the pipes uh, we got a crossover to hold the pipes down we got the shocks then we come over we got the battery got the front a arms got the steering box and then we come down to, uh, number 10 we'll be putting the uh, drive shaft the engine onto the uh, sub assembly or the you know the chassis then we start adding the inner fender wells down here um, number step 11 and then of course uh, over here to step 12 we got three pieces for the uh, radiator step 13 we got to start put out they want to add the um, radiator hose to, uh, lower radiator hose to it before you uh, attach it to the uh, uh, chassis assembly 
Uh, then we got the overflow uh, windshield washer bottle right there. And then, of course, we're going to attach the radiator to the uh, inner fender wells. Well, then we're going to add the upper radiator hose. And then we start on the front suspension with the um, tie rods and um, A-arms and so forth on that. Uh, step 17, we're going to add the um, brake booster assembly and then the front firewall down here in step 17, of course. Step 18, start on the interior. Pretty much a simple, the tub's all ready together. We just got to mask off and do our um, uh, flooring different color. I'll probably be doing flocking on that because um, I'm intending on this car to be uh, fully detailed under the hood and everything. So um, it's going to have a little bit of extensive work to it there. Uh, of course, 19, got to put the uh, seat halves together. Step 20, we add the uh, inner door panel, add the seats, uh, the rear uh, cargo area um, uh, cover right there. <clears throat> Step 21, we start on the dash, adding the um, like a uh, gas pedal and the um, brake pedal clutch, so forth. We got the steering column, steering wheel, all the decals for the dash, the gauges, and the uh, emblem, Corvette emblem on the front, and then. Um, of course, we're going to attach that then to the uh, interior tub down here in step 22. Step 23, we start adding all the glass. And um, we've got side glass, front glass, rear glass, uh, the mirror, and there's a dome light in this one. Step 24, we're going to add the interior tub to the uh, body. Step 25, we're going to add the uh, hood to the body. And of course, that's one of these, since it's got a flip hood on it, we're going to have to tape it, uh, use the Maya tape of course, and uh, attach that to the body so it don't fall when we're trying to attach a body. Uh, 26, uh, we're going to um, add the um, side chrome down here, and of course that's going to be different on this car for me because since I'm doing the side pipe, I'll have to get the piece out of the uh, convertible version. Uh, 27, is got just attaching of course the uh, rally wheel the tire and then the inner wheel on the back uh, then of course 28 we're going to attach all four wheels and tires to the uh, chassis assembly 29 we're going to attach a body to the chassis uh, and then of course at that point we can go and get the tape off of it uh, where the don't have to worry about the uh, hood at that point and we're going to add the front grill the front bumper front tag uh, start adding some of the uh, marker lights. Uh, that's a um, chrome piece that uh, mounts to the body and then of course got the uh, glass on that. <clears throat> Step 31 is the uh, front uh, braces uh, which attach from the um, chassis to the body and also, well they actually attach to the bumper. Uh, Step 32, we've got to add the um, rear marker lights would be the brake lights and so forth. They will attach them to the uh, bracket, um, the bezels, chrome bezels. And then we're going to attach them to the car. Of course, we've got the fuel filler, chrome uh, filler cap we'll put on the rear of the car. Uh, the rear brake light right there, oil, well, it's actually a uh, backup light, excuse me. And this shows, of course, where the uh, exhaust would come out the back of the car on this uh, coupe version. But again, since I'm doing the side pipes, I'm actually going to fill those two holes in because uh, they won't be used. I'm going, like I said, doing the side pipe version. And over here, uh, step 34, we just add the uh, two rear bumper because uh, that's a two-piece. Uh, of course, the, ta um, the tag holder for the rear. And then, of course, the final assembly is step 35. We're going to add the uh, windshield wipers and door handles and, of course, the mirror. So it's a pretty basic build. I mean, there's several parts, but pretty basic build, not a whole lot to it. Uh, of course, this shows the decals. My version, I'm going to paint it white, and then I'll be using the blue Gadoo decals, which I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, of course, you got the four decals that go on the center cap of the uh, wheels. Uh, of course, uh, license plates, which I actually make my own when I do a car, so um, it'll have my own specialized tag on it. And other than that, it's pretty simple. So with that, let's take a quick look at some of the uh, parts. Uh, first thing I'll show here is the body. Um, like I said, just typical reveal body. 
good and smooth uh, not a whole no flashing at all very little cleanup on it um, like I said we'll run some sandpaper and smooth up some of these uh, crisp edges on panels and stuff uh, like on the fenders and the rear fender take a little bit of that sharpness out of it um, not seeing a whole lot of um, uh, lines where we got to sand off of it mold lines or anything I'm sure there's a couple I'm not seeing them uh, I know there's usually a couple up here I can feel those right there again this minor stuff uh, just typical uh, we'll clean the door panels out always deepen them because um, by the time we lay some primer down and paint and then clear coat uh, that'll start filling back in so we'll work all the panel lines and then of course around the flip um, lights and all up here um, but other than that and then like I said these two holes back here where I was talking about I've got to fill these in um, like I said I'm with doing the side exhaust um, I need to cover that up so we'll, that won't be no major stuff right there so we take care of that. Uh, the tires, they're generic, but like I said, I'm not using these. I'm actually going to use a set of red lines that um, I picked up. And I'm not. I'm hoping they're going to work. Like I said, I haven't tried them yet. So if they don't work, then I will have to use the uh, kit decals to put on the uh, tires because I do want the red lines on it. Uh, the glass, uh, I'm not going to take the glass out. I'm just always leave that in the bag till I get ready for it but obviously we got the uh, four red tail lights that will go on the car and then of course just the typical we got the windshield the rear glass we got the two side glass and here's what's going to be the uh, backup brake um, uh, backup light excuse me and then the two front um, marker lights that will go on the front of the car they're right there uh, the chrome tree, there's only two. There's a, This is the biggest chrome tree. Again, these are the two side pieces for the, um, uh, which would go under, the, on the car, on this version. But again, I've got to use a different one since I'm doing the uh, side pipes. Here's the uh, front bumper. Uh, here's, of course, the front uh, windshield frame for the glass. You got your two uh, rear bumpers right here. And of course your four rally wheels, you got your air cleaner, um, here's uh, the rear tail light bezels, uh, chrome of course they'll go on. Uh, these two right here, here's the gear shift lever and the emergency brake lever for the uh, interior. Uh, rear view mirrors right here and right here is the outside mirror and this right here is the fuel filler, fuel, fuel filter, sorry. Uh, probably can't see it too good but anyway those two are right there they're attached so take that out and see the other little small um, chrome tree here we got the front grill we got the carburetor here's the two exhaust tips that would actually go on the back of the car and of course I'm not using them and then of course here's the uh, rear tag holder that will go on the rear of the car uh, let's see here here's the um, alternator um, and up here is the uh, windshield wipers. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little cleanup on them and probably touch them up because they, I guess they're so fragile they put a, a connector piece in between them. So they got some flashing on that. So I'll have to do some cleanup on them and touch them up. But with the uh, Reveal Chrome Spray out now, that's not going to be a big issue. So that's the chrome trees. And let's take a look at the uh, sprues here. And I think there's only four sprues. So the first sprue right here is this pretty common stuff. We've got two engine halves, uh, one of the radiator pieces, We've got the fan, the valve covers, the heads, oil pan, battery. Uh, this right here is actually what would have been used for the side pipes, but without the uh, chrome side pipes, um, like I said, I could probably use these, but I'll have to get the chrome pieces out of the uh, convertible kit. And of course, we got the battery, the water pump, the hood. Uh, here's the radiator hoses. Uh, this is the lower one and this is the upper one. I'm pretty sure uh, Back seat has sun visors of course door panels uh, part of the brake booster. Here's the um, uh, Windshield wiper uh, canister and of course these two uh, springs right here will go on the front So let's see here. There's the first tree and here's the second uh, sprue tree Got the interior tub again. Here's the other two pieces for the radiator, um, 
right here is the um, starter that's right there and then of course we got the uh, two braces up front uh, we got the gas and uh, well the brake, brake and uh, clutch pedals right there here's the firewall we got the A-arms, uh, upper A-arms, and here's the lower A-arms for the front. Uh, of course, here's the uh, rear end housing that will mount to the other part of the uh, rear end housing. Uh, it's a two-piece. Uh, here's the uh, rear, uh, more suspension, um, sway bars and so forth, the shocks. And let's see, up here is, uh, of course, the steering box. And, of course, another sway bar, tie rods, so forth. Um... So there's that, and let's see here, here's uh, the third sprue tree, and of course this has got the four um, inner wheels that will mount uh, to the tire, got the steering wheel, drive shaft, here's the uh, fan belt, um, pulleys and so forth, steering column, and here's the um, uh, exhaust pipes and exhaust um, so and the mufflers and all that would go on this kit. But again, not not repeat myself for the thousand time, but I'm using the side pipe, so I won't be using them. And let's see here. The last uh, sprue is basically just the um, dash. Um, we've got the chassis pan and so forth. Uh, we've got the two seats, uh, the two inner uh, fender well panels, and then this piece right here is a back piece for the um, interior tub uh, to complete it out. So that's the uh, four sprues that come with it. And last but not least is the decals. And let's see here, keep from shine. So again, here's the red lines if I do have to use those, uh, if I can't use the tires I was talking about. Uh, we've got the, all the uh, gauges up here, the uh, dash decals, and of course the uh, license tags. Again, I won't be using those. I make my own on that. Uh, we've got... Uh, decals for the air cleaner uh, looks like for the battery uh, valve covers uh, of course here's the 427's that will go on the side of the hood and let's see there's a couple small ones here that I'm not sure what they are I'll have to look those up uh, the AC Delco logo to go on the um, oil filter uh, of course the center um, uh, decals right here that's in these uh, uh, red line decals those will cut out and actually go on the wheel it'll be on the center cap of the wheel and I'm actually going to use uh, the blue stripe right here again my car I'm going to paint it uh, white with the blue and it will have a uh, blue interior in it so that's uh, pretty much everything on the open box review again like I said uh, in fact I've got the uh, model car garage uh, detail upset for it. I've got it right here, all the photo itch. I'll be using that. And then of course, like I said, under the hood and underneath and all, I plan on um, fully detailing it out uh, best I can. Uh, the full engine compartment on one of these Corvettes, so there's not a lot of room to uh, work or do a whole lot, but uh, we're going to see what we can do. So anyway, um, with that, uh, I appreciate all the uh, subs I've been getting. I appreciate everybody that's watching. Um, you know, if you need something, check out Wes's Model Car Corner. I'll put a link to their site on the um, description page. Uh, that's where I get a lot of my stuff from and most of my kits from. So um, with that, uh, if you need a shop card, uh, I'll have a link for uh, my email in the description. You know, I'll be glad to send you a shop card. And with that, let's get building.